Hey my queen, so I'm gonna be doing a wig transformation. This wig is just way too um, thick for me and I don't like the parting. It just doesn't look natural at all. So we're just gonna to try to transform this wig. It does come with slightly bumped ends. This is the newborn free um, MLC 170. So it does come with the curved part, but I didn't like how the parting space was looking. It was just way too thick. So I went ahead and took off this wig and I have this in true time at this point but so I can tell you what it has it does have three comb or actually just one comb in the front which was really really weird and then there's one comb in the back with adjustable straps the comb in the front is also in a really awkward place as well so I was just really shocked by that but I'm gonna go ahead and clip my adjustable straps together so that it acts as a elastic band in my wig and it really helps it to lay flat so I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this part and I'm just going ahead and cutting off the hard lace it does come with hard lace on this one which I don't mind on this wig because it ends up laying down super flat and not flapping on the sides or anything like that later on um, when I'm wearing this wig so I really did like that a lot So right here you see me going ahead and putting on the wig and I'm just trying to get a feel for where I have the wig and where I want it to be positioned, whether I want it to be a side part or whether I want it to kind of shift it towards the middle. And later on you will see that I shift it towards the middle. So I'm just going to take just a few of my baby hairs out and um, I know you. I usually speed this portion up in most of my videos but a lot of you were um, kind of emailing me and messaging me about how I get my units to lay super flat and for them to look extremely natural so this is the process that I do with any wig unless it is a colored wig whereas I'll make my own baby hairs but here's what I'm doing with the parting I'm taking two one to two strands um, so yeah I'm doing the pull method I don't feel like getting out any uh, tweezers or anything like that I really just don't be having time for that and it's just annoying so I don't do it but I do the pull method and I have learned that hard lace is way better for the pull method because it is a little bit tougher so if you do have soft lace I would just go one strand at a time so because you could definitely rip a hole in your lace um, so but this one has hard lace so I went ahead and did like two to three strands and yeah, it got out the hair that I needed to get for it to look more natural. So I'm just going in and just taking out, like I said, two to three strands at a time. Um, sometimes just one, it just depended on what I, what I picked up. But yeah, no more than three because you can still, even though it is hard lace, you can still rip it. So just be very careful with that step. All right, so here you see me going ahead and using my powder. You guys know in a lot of my videos, I do show you what I use. I use the I Love Makeup LA Colors Contour Palette, and I will leave a link down below. I will try to find it online. I'm pretty sure that a lot of websites do sell this palette. It's just amazing. I really do like it, and it's very inexpensive, So, and it does come with different shades, so um, even if you don't find the right one for you at first, you definitely can try different ones in the palette, and something will fit your skin tone. So um, yeah, this is essential when making your, um, your wig look you know really natural and then I'm going ahead with some edge control from my local beauty supply store and I'm just gonna put that um, on my hair just to blend in my natural hair with the wig and it's gonna make it look really seamless and just like I got like a nice wrap so I really do like the way that looks and then I'm just gonna do that on both sides So then I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up this part of the video because I'm just going to go ahead and comb through this wig 
and yeah it didn't tangle uh, you know like I thought it would anyway so this like I said in the beginning the wig was just way too thick for me so I am gonna go ahead and run my um, flat iron through it and I have it on 350 so I did maybe one to two passes each time and that worked well for me so um, so I'm taking pretty large chunks you guys know I'm lazy when it comes to straightening hair so yeah I'm taking some kind of large chunks and I'm just gonna split them into three and try to go ahead and um, get this hair as flat as I can using the rake method using my comb to kind of just um, distribute that heat where it needs to be through this wig because I really wanted to lay a little bit better all right so now that the hair is all straightened out the way I would like it I'm gonna go ahead and add some pump it up spritz onto the part and I'm just gonna go and get that part to look as flat as possible as well because I don't want any lumps or bumps or anything to make this wig look like you walking around like hey I'm wearing a wig you can cut off now we ain't got that to do okay so I really wanted this wig to have some layers towards the face because I feel like most people especially African Americans don't have the same um hair length all over their hair it's just unrealistic so I wanted to go ahead and um create some layers face framing layers towards the front then go ahead with flat iron again and this is how it will look it could come as a right side part so that's how I have it but as you will see I'm not really feeling that so I'm just gonna go ahead and shift it towards the middle now the part will kind of it's leaning towards you know the, the right or whatever but it's cool I don't have like a super big problem with that I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the right side part. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend my baby hairs in the best that I can. And this wig is amazing. I really do like it. After those tweaks, it looks really, really natural. Um, so yeah, I'm doing that with the same, um, you know, uh, control. And yeah, that's how I'm gonna rock this wig. I really do like it. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. If you guys like these type of videos where I kind of transfer different wigs, let me know and um, definitely give me a thumbs up. Follow me on Snap and Instagram. And yeah, know what you guys think of this look. And I will see you queen in the video. Subscribe, let me know. And yeah, I love you guys so much. I will see you queen. See you guys.